RescueNet, a Norwegian company working to reduce plastic pollution and ghost fishing by preventing gear loss in the fishing industry. There's 10 million traps on the eastern seaboard alone, and not one of them has a retrieval system on it today. I've seen a lot of pots lost, and we've often thought, is there a way to stop this? Your rescue unit is floating on the surface, and now you can retrieve your pot. They're going to recover their lobster trap, their rope, their buoy. You're talking hundreds and thousands of dollars over time. We need innovation to hinder that plast comes up on the way. An example of a solution is just to build it for tiny rescue unit. I'm very interested in rescue unit. I've seen it actually in action uh, in Norway. Um, I was actually first introduced uh, to it uh, in Monten, New Brunswick at a demonstration there. And um, it's a very simple solution to a larger problem. With a new and improved version, rescue unit already has pilot projects all over the world. In Norway, USA, Florida, Canada, as well as Sabar Island in the Caribbean. Commercial fisheries need more predictability, so we invented the electronic time release, a multi-purpose release mechanism. Something like this will change the way people fish all over the world. You have to fish responsibly, leaving some for the next generation. 